previously on Dragon Quest Builders. We now have like a little tower outpost. I will never give up. Never. Ever. Ever. You tell him, girl. You tell him. What? It's people. It's people turning into zombies. Rest in peace, guarantee us. <laughs> oh, we obtained a green teleportal, guys. Ellie is clearly not okay. Ellie, what happened? Multi, I'm so sorry, my lamb. I've come down with something. Please kill me. No! So we are going to explore new lands next time. Yay! Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multi Console and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. I have now finished the outside, I think. <laughs> I think it's pretty much done. I've done a lot on the outside and I think we're going to leave the outside as it is now we have lots of plants outside when it goes into like the outside into where all the monsters are i've got like i really like how i did like the different steps and gave it like a little pattern so it goes down like that and then i thought i'd do like a little bit of contrast so we've got the grass and then it goes into the purple and then the steps go down and then it goes into the old area of all the monsters Ugh. <laughs> we do have slimes actually in our little garden but i don't mind i kind of like that we have slimes in our garden it's a nice addition we have the slime Lime garden. <laughs> so we've got this little fence of these little saloon doors. I got steps. We've got lots of flowers and everything around. The first thing you might have noticed is the giant duck. <laughs> I think it looks really funny. We got a giant j duck fountain. I didn't know what else to build and that seemed like the easiest thing and I obviously I didn't want to do it all in one colored block because then you kind of wouldn't know what it was. But yeah that's basically it. You can go into the pond if you really want to. The slimes actually sometimes get stuck in the Ponds. but to get back up I've got a little vine here so you can get back up and we've got benches all around just to make it look really pretty I haven't quite finished around the sides because I wanted to make all of this grass as well all the way around but I haven't quite got around to that I think that's about all I've done really for the outside and I think it's pretty much done yeah so now I'm going to be working on the inside if I could add anything else to the outside I think I'd add a few more slime balloons I think that would make it absolutely perfect but it's done for now and inside I have a vegetable patch yay I finally built my vegetable patch and because I got like the outpost up there the block's actually stopping the palm tree at the back from growing. <laughs> but never mind, I actually kind of like that we have a big one and a small one. Anyway, at the front we have heart seed plants. We have heart fruit seeds at the front. On the side, I think these are potatoes on the side. At the back is wheat and then around the left is beans. So all I really need to do now is build something here for the herbalist workshop. And I think we're pretty much done for the... Um, building for the town which is awesome because yeah I think we're coming close to fighting Hades Condor I can't wait actually it's gonna be amazing anyway we have unlocked a new teleportal and that's mostly what we're gonna be doing today but first I'm going to accept the quests because they're most likely through the teleportal anyway so first we'll talk to Hazel hehehe <laughs> so multi don't you think it's time we made use of my knowledge isn't she the blacksmith? I think she's the blacksmith. Huh? Eh? You've got no idea what I'm talking about, so I should stop grinning like that? Good goddess, you're rude. <laughs> I told you all about it right after I recovered from the blight. Don't you remember? Long story short, I met this legendary blacksmith while I was travelling the world. Well, the descendant of one anyway. A really tough looking fellow he was. Anyway, we got chatting about the metalworking trade and I learnt a lot about it. The Hades Condor will be here soon, and tough metal weapons and armour would be just the thing we need to fight it. But before we can actually make anything multi, I need you to scour Rimmeldar top to bottom and find me 5 chunks of silver. I actually think I already have some silver. Once you've got enough silver, I'll be able to teach you how to use it. Okay, great work, you brought back the silver I asked for. Yeah, I already had some I think. Let's see now. Nope, this stuff is way too hard. I don't know how we're going to make anything out of this. Ha 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 ha. Wow, that sucks. Ha 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 ha. What? Okay. Yeah, that really sucks. What are we going to do then? What? Are you waiting for me to say something? You're really good at that whole passive aggressive thing, aren't you? Surely you can think of something we can do with it. Some way to make that silver a little more malleable. If you can dream up a way of making it a little easier to work with, then go right ahead and do it. Can we melt it? 
And you being you, I bet you'd come up with all sorts of other inventions after that. So who's doing the thinking here, me? <laughs> Not her. You know, Malty, I haven't been here very long, but I actually really like this place. That's good then. I want to do everything I can to protect this town, and that means one day getting rid of the Hades Condor. So hurry up and have an idea. <laughs> Everyone's told me about that shiny thing that appears when you invent something. I want to see it for myself. Oh, the light bulb above my head. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you're not seeing it today. I don't have no light bulbs above my head. I got a seed of life. Oh, yep, I do actually. Yeah. Um, liquid silver. An argent alloy that can be cast to make metal objects. Okay. Let me eat this seed of life. Nom, nom, nom. Awesome. We got some extra health. We got 115 health now. Nice. We are getting a nice bit of health together. Right, now we need to talk to Garantius. It seems that that quest wasn't through the teleporter after all, but never mind. I've seen Garantius and Hazel in here a lot, so making me a lot of medicine stuff. Look at that, 42, 84. <laughs> what the hell? I am never, ever going to run out of healing supplies ever on this story mode. That's so cool. That's so awesome. I don't know why they keep making so much. <laughs> it's funny. All right, let's talk to him. What? Ellie is sick? Oh yeah, Ellie's sick. But but why? How could this happen? I actually forgot. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Oh no, he's really sad. Oh, he's even sat down. We have brought this upon ourselves, young lady. We were fools to think that we could overcome the blights. Oh man, he's really sad. Multi, I would ask you to see to her request. Please, Multi, I beg you. Please kill Ellie. No! Why? Why are you so stupid? No, wait, stop right there. <laughs> he changed his mind. I just can't let you do it. I can't ordain the death of my own dear granddaughter. Oh, their family. That's why. That makes sense. Morty, you have to find a way to save her. Ah, that's right. You found a new teleportal, didn't you? It said that the teleportals will always take their owners to the place that they need to go. I beg you, travel through the teleportal and seek out the ruins of the Holy Sanctum where the World Tree has taken root. <gasps> the World Tree is going to be through the teleportal. According to Ilias's notes, there you will find an ancient artifact known as the Transmutation Table. Oh, okay. This enchanted workbench can be used to prepare the most powerful curatives, perhaps even powerful enough to save Ellie's life. Mulsi, I beg you, Journey through the green teleportal and seek out the transmutation table. Okay, a new quest marker. All right, let's go. Let's go get this random table thing. <laughs> I don't think we have any more quests, so we just literally have the one quest in the new teleportal. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see what land awaits us through this teleportal, through the green one. So this is the last teleportal we're most likely going to get for this chapter. Let's see... Okay, it looks like we are on a cliff top. Let me grab my navi globe. Navi globe, nothing exciting. Doesn't look like really pretty or anything like that, but I will take the lights. I will take the lights. I need all the lights. I actually ran out of lights. Really bad, need these. <laughs> okay, oh, we got a skeleton. I actually don't have that good of a weapon because it broke, of course. Probably while I was building, me trying to fend off against all the ghosts that keep attacking me in during the night. So, ah, I got a rusty nugget. That's what I was after because I would really like to build my armor again and hopefully build a new weapon. That would be nice. Okay, that one's dead. Oh my god, how many skeletons are here? This is like the third one. Jeez, this is like their hometown or something. Oh, all right, let me finish this one. There we go, he's dead. Right, let me use... Oh, uh, he's got back up. <laughs> God damn it, they never stay dead, do they? No, now I got that, and ghosts are now starting to come out. Good God, I'm just never safe. All right, guys, I'm going to go back through. We're going to go to sleep because I keep getting attacked, and it's really annoying. So I actually want to explore the new land in peace, if that's possible. <laughs> okay, let me go sleep, and we will do this. Let's go! Hopefully now nothing is going to attack me. God damn it. Okay, that's a lot better. There's a lot of gravestones around here, isn't there? That block looks suspicious. 
Looks suspicious. Oh, okay. I thought it was like monster block or something. God damn, there is a lot of gravestones and skeletons and God, what happened in this area? <laughs> it looks horrible. Okay, let's keep going anyway. Oh my God, look how many gravestones. It's like everywhere. Everywhere I look is a gravestone. How many people died here? Man. Oh, there's a person. Or is it a zombie? I reckon that's these are zombies, aren't they? Aren't these zombies? Are these zombies? These are totally zombies. Look at this. They're all gonna... Oh, wow. This is where the zombies are. That's why all the, the graveyard's here. So all the zombies are here as well. I guess that makes sense. Alright, so we can kill these zombies now. These poor people. These poor people who were people. Now they're zombies. Did they drop anything? I don't know. I think one dropped a gravestone, but... <laughs> I think there's enough gravestones here to loot, so I don't think we have a problem with that. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm going to stay away from the roaming people who are actually zombies. Okay, so there's a nice little pond in the middle. Oh, is this a cave? I think I found a cave. Let's go explore the cave. There's gold in here, which is nice. Take the gold. Yay, gold! I think the gold's used for something, but I'm not sure what. I'm pretty sure that I saw that you needed gold to build something, but I can't remember what it was. Anyway, let's see if there's anything at the end of this cave. Might not be. Not normally anything at the end of the caves. It's like one in five chance. Oh, we've got... Oh, okay. We have actually got something, guys. What is it? We have got a sofa. Nice. It's the same one from the green dragon. Shame we can't take these green block things, but we can take the braziers, which is awesome. I can take this gold here. We'll take that. See, we can't take these green blocks, although they do kind of look a little bit ugly, I suppose. And we can take the silver. Take the silver, yay! And let's see if we can find anything else. That was a really nice find. I'm really happy with that. We got a sofa. I wonder if you can get a sofa on every chapter. Well, this sofa didn't drop from a dragon this time unless somebody killed the dragon and then placed it in the chest you never know you never know I kind of miss fighting the dragons they were really fun oh there's a zombie up here with a green shirt they normally have gray shirts is this a different whoa he spits out poison stuff oh my god look how many monsters are here guys oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god let me see if I can do a spinning strike okay I want to do another one see if I can get them all Okay, 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 okay. I need help. I need help. I need help. Ah, God. Okay, I'm gonna run a little bit, run a bit, run a bit, run a bit, and then health. Ah. Okay, we're gonna do a spinning strike. Oh God. See if they hit you, it interrupts it, which is really goddamn annoying. I really want to kill the green one though. Ah. <laughs> There's so many of them. Ah, oh, man. And there's people up there looking down, like, oh no, another one's just transformed. Oh, I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. This is not good. <laughs> oh, no. They just keep coming. More and more of them. My axe is going to break in a minute. I might as well finish them all off, though. No, even more are coming. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Okay, I need health. I need health. Okay, there we go. I think I should just run, maybe. But I want to kill at least the green one. Come on, I want to kill the green one at least. I want to see if it drops anything different, but they just keep coming. Like, more and more of them just keep appearing. Let's see if I can... Come on, come on. Yeah! I got a horde of zombies and skeletons on me. Okay, I'm going to give up, man. I just had enough. They're annoying me. Let's go in this... Um, let's escape in this cave. It's actually probably not a good idea, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to go in the cave anyway. Yeah, there's nothing in the cave. Okay. Yep, we got a horde of zombies and stuff after us. I'm gonna climb up here. Come on, come on, quick, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oof. Okay, <laughs> let's go towards the quest objective. Come on, out of my way, guys, out of my way. Leave me alone. I don't wanna play with you zombies today. Okay, I can see a way this way. Let's keep going. Another big zombie down there. That's a big zombie. Is that bigger than usual? He's blue as well wonder what happens. He is definitely a different kind of zombie. Damn, he's really strong too. That is one strong zombie. I don't know. And we might come back and fight him. Because at the moment, I just get chased by everything under the sun. And 
<laughs> I just really want to get this quest thingy before we stop. So see if I can get anywhere. Let's put some dirt blocks down so we can climb up. I've got skeletons trying to climb up as well, but luckily they don't know how to climb. So that's good. I think I'm poisoned as well. We've got a chimera up here. Use my antidotal herb. There we go. Lovely jobly. All right, let's go up here. I think we're supposed to go this way. Is it this way? Is it down? Oh, I can see something. Oh, I can see another puzzle. We found a puzzle, guys. I think I'm going to put a navi globe down here and we'll come back to this another time. I don't really know if we should do this right now. Take the lights at least. Now, we're going to go get the table. I really just want the table. We should definitely just go get the table. Oh, look, there's these wolves around here. I wonder if these ones are vicious then. We helped these guys. Why are they vicious? They should be our friends. You should be our friends, wolves. Why do you do this? Whoa, he disappeared. Whoa, they're like ninja wolves. What the hell? <laughs> ninja wolves. Ah, run. Ouch. What are they doing? Like roaring? Are they calling like for help or something? I don't know. I want to kill this one. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Health, 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 health. Okay. Oh God, yeah. They like call for help. This is so not cool. Stop calling for help. Oh, we found something. First, beware wolf pelts, whatever that does, I don't know, but we got one. Okay, I'm just gonna try and run away now. There is way too many of these guys. Can we go in the water? I'm not sure. Yes, we can. How far? Only a little bit out, I guess. Hmm, where do we go to get this stuff then? Oh, is this, is this, a, is this something here? Oh my god, there's golems and everything here. Is that a golden golem? That looks like a golden golem to me. My god, I, want, I don't want to go too close to that guy. So we've got a nice little area here with braziers. And what is through here? Oh, there's um, a pond here with some filter fountains. It's kind of hard to see because we're at night time now. But I can see some nice little fountains here that I'm going to take. <laughs> we could add some more fountains to our little veggie patch and it looks like there is a way to climb up here as well there's a lot going to be a lot to explore in this area so we're just touching the the, the sides at the moment probably <laughs> so let me just see if i can get to the top of this this looks really cool okay let me put some stuff away i've got too much stuff on me and i'm going to get some dirt blocks out so that i can climb up even further i can see a vine here and can we take these blue blocks that would be awesome nah Although I don't actually have the strongest weapon, so that could be why. Oh, I see something at the top. There's somebody at the top of this. I wonder if this is the quest. I'm not sure. There's a lady up here. Hello. I am Thalamus, the all-knowing. Oh, hello. You're the one who's been doing all the puzzles, right? Tis a wonder thou can see me. There can be but one explanation. Thou art the builder, the long heralded emissary of Rubis. Well, builder, what hopest thou to find in this accursed land? There was a time when this ground was the most blessed in all Alfgard, it was a home to the sanctum, the most holy of holies. But the structure was torn apart by the dragon lord's fiendish forces, not a single sanctified brick remaineth. And yet, from that hallowed ground, this great tree did grow. Is this the tree? This is the tree. Okay, I was kind of expecting a bit more. <laughs> this is actually the tree? The Yxtral tree? This can't be, right? I didn't even know I was climbing up here. <laughs> okay, imbued with the life-giving power left behind the shrine. However, even mighty Yxtral is now little more than a withered husk. Its powers are leached away by the humans who relied on its energies to survive. So maybe we have to restore it. I ask thee once again, Builder, what is it that thou seekest here? I seekest a random table, <laughs> apparently. To cure Rimoda of the Blight, perhaps? Or perchance thou meanest to clear the darkness that enshrouded the sky? Both, actually. Both of them. Hmm? Neither, thou sayest, thou wishest only to save thy friend. Tis difficult to believe that such a meagre task should fall within the preview of the emissary of Almighty Rubus herself. Very well, Builder. I shall teach thee how to construct the transmutation table. Why, thank you. 
Once it is built, you'll needest only to collect some heads of hollyhock to craft the medicine that will cure thy friend. Okay. I cut the last crop of hollyhock and stored it safely within a stout vault. However, the key that openeth this vault hath since rusted away to dust. Oh. <laughs> How are we going to get in then? Still, I have no doubt that finding some means to open the door is well within thy power. Okay. Fare thee well, builder. With bated breath, I await the new world. Thou shalt bring forth. Okay. Okay, cool. I know now Thalamus's secrets. A peculiar platform used in the arcane arts of alchemy. Awesome. So we can build like medicines and stuff with that. See if we can take anything here. I'm not sure if we can. It just looks like wooden blocks and stuff. My bag is actually full. I don't think there's actually anything at the top of this. I can't believe this is the tree. I was expecting like a really amazing tree and it's just like all withered and horrid. But never mind, it was a good discovery. I actually didn't even know I was on the tree until she said. So yeah, I think we're just going to return to base now. Now that we know what to do, we're probably going to have to build a room out of that table, right? Or something. So we now actually have two rooms to house, which is awesome. And I got some nice little fountains that I can put in the vegetable patch as well. So I'm going to stop here for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.